We are almost at the end of the year and Jordan Brand has finished off the year very strong, giving us some highly coveted recent releases. And to finish off the year, we got ourselves one more Jordan 1. My name is Josh and I will be reviewing the Jordan 1 Gorge Green. So what is good guys wishing you guys a good holiday season let's get into the shoes now these released early in Europe about a month early in fact because the official release date in the United States is December the 28th and it will be releasing for yeah that new Jordan 1 retail price of $180 I gotta say right now the Jordan 1 definitely feels like a very expensive shoe Jordan brand has been able to get away with raising the prices over the last couple years and the shoes have still been selling out every time but this year it feels like they have finally reached a price point where it's just a bit too expensive for most people. A lot of pretty nice looking Jordan 1s have been sitting this year. Here in Europe, we're almost a week after the release now and they're still sitting pretty much everywhere and expect the same when these release dates side, these are definitely gonna sit. We actually don't get too many green Jordan 1s. Pretty much the only ones I can think of over the last few years have been the pine greens and the lucky greens. So it's nice to see green once again on a Jordan 1 and this is a pretty nice shade. The other color on the shoe can be seen on the swoosh. It's done in this metallic silver color. And either you like that color or that might be the one thing about this shoe that puts you off from buying it. Personally, I would have preferred maybe a black swoosh on this pair. But let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about that metallic silver swoosh? We've seen a couple of Jordan 1s now that look very similar to these that have dropped over the last few years. Last year, around this time, actually, we saw the Jordan 1 Bordeaux. And a year prior, we saw the Jordan 1 Midnight Navy, the Coda JP colorway. All three of these shoes, as you can tell, very similar looking. The only thing different is the colorway, but the color blocking, the metallic swoosh, and also one more thing they all have in common is this jeweled wings logo. What are your thoughts on the jeweled wings logo? I actually am quite a big fan of this. I feel like it adds a bit more of a premium feeling to the shoe. You know what they should have done? They should have released the Jordan 1 Bordeaux and these at the same time and called it the Christmas pack because these are some of the most festive looking Jordan 1s we've seen with the green, that burgundy, the silver. I don't know, I feel like it would have been much more of a hype release if they called it the Christmas pack. As far as the laces go, the standard laces that come with the shoe are done in that gorge green color to match the upper. And additionally, you get this extra pair of white laces as well. For me, the best part about the shoe has to be the quality of the upper. You're getting some pretty nice, very nice actually tumble leather on this pair. My first thought actually when I felt the shoe was that, wow, these actually feel really soft. The leather feels quite nice and especially when you put these on feet, they already feel like they've been worn in a little bit, which I definitely appreciate because it usually takes me quite a long time to break in my Jordan 1s. As far as sizing goes, nothing different here. It fits the same as every other Jordan 1. For me, that is a true to size. I wear a US 11 in all my Jordan 1s, including these. And just to give you some reference, I also wear the same size in Nike Dunks as well as Air Max sneakers. Go with your true size, you should be fine. And I think even if you have wider feet because the leather on these is quite soft, you should be fine at true to size. Overall, what are my final thoughts on the Jordan 1 Gorge Green? Are these a cop or a drop when they do drop in the United States on December the 28th? I like these. The colorway is nice. Always appreciate a green Jordan 1. And you're also, as a bonus, getting some pretty nice leather on this pair. Would I pay full retail for these? Probably not. I would probably wait a little bit until these go on sale. And you can expect these to go on sale since they are releasing after the Christmas period and usually people aren't spending too much money at that time. So I don't expect these to sell out immediately. I'm willing to bet that these are gonna go on sale at some point. So that would be definitely the best time to cop these. You can also try maybe StockX putting in a bid under retail to try to get them. All things said, if you can't get these under retail, I would say they are a cop. Thank you once again for supporting the channel and for watching this video. You guys are amazing. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.